So we have to express this one. 2x plus 3 plus yung remainder natin na 1 over x minus 5. So ito na So this is our topic, uh, division of a polynomial by a polynomial. The process of dividing a polynomial by another polynomial is similar to that of dividing whole numbers. It is necessary that the polynomials are arranged in descending powers of one of the variables involved. Okay, I will give you an example. Okay, let's have example letter A. Divide the quantity of 7x squared minus 10x minus 8. Divide natin kay x minus 2. Okay? So, divide natin yan. Si 7x squared minus 10x minus 8. Divide natin kay x minus 2. Wala? Then, ang gagawin natin dito, hanap tayo ng uh, factor na kung i-multiply natin kay x, ang result niya is 7x squared. So, therefore, ang factor natin dito is 7x. Kasi kapag i-multiply natin si 7x kay x, magiging 7x squared. Kasi dalawa yung x, di ba? Merong 1 yung exponent ni x dyan. Merong 1 din dyan. So therefore, 7x squared. Then si 7x, multiply natin kay 2, magiging negative 14x. Then isubtract natin yan. Ang take note, kapag mag-subtract tayo, Itong sign na positive, di ba walang sign dyan? So, meaning positive yan. So, from positive, magiging negative yan ngayon. Okay? So, from negative, magiging positive. Okay. Then, i-add na natin. 7x minus 7, ah, uh, 7x squared minus 7x squared, that is 0. Negative 10x plus 14x, magiging positive 4x. Bakit siya positive? na the same sign man yan sila. Hindi na sila the same sign kasi nag-change na nga tayo ng positive. Therefore, yung sign ng 14 ngayon is positive na. So, mas malaki ang sign ng 14 compare natin kay 10. That's why nagiging 4x yan. Then, i-bring down natin si negative 8. Ayan. Then, hanap naman tayo ng factor na kapag i-multiply natin kay x, magiging 4x. So, yung factor natin is positive 4. So, 4 times x, that is 4x. Then, 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. Then, subtract. Then, mag-change naman tayo ng sign from positive, magiging negative. From, ne from negative, magiging positive. Okay. So, 4x minus 4x, that is 0. Negative 8 plus 8, that is 0. Therefore, yung quotient natin is 7x plus 4 sa ating example letter A. Okay, let's have example letter B. Divide 10, the quantity 10x cubed minus x squared plus 5x plus 4. I divide natin kay the quantity of 2x plus 1. Okay, so I divide natin yan. Medyo mabakaba ito kunti. 10x cubed minus Sorry. Minus x squared plus 5x plus 4. Okay. Then, divide natin kay 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. So, gagawin natin dito, we have to find a factor or hanap tayo ng number or variable na kapag i-multiply natin kay 2x, magiging uh, 10x cubed. So, ang factor natin is 5 x squared hindi siya pwedeng x lang squared bakit siya squared kasi cube yan eh okay so therefore 5x squared times 2x is equal to 10x cube sundan dapat squared siya hindi siya pwedeng talaga na x lang squared kasi i-multiply natin yan dito dapat ang result niya x cubed din then, si 5x, multiply natin kay 1. That is positive. 5x squared. Okay, then, subtract natin. 
And take note, kapag mag-subtract uh, tayo, i-chase natin ito. From positive, magiging negative. From positive, magiging negative. So, 10x cubed minus 10x cubed, that is 0. Huwag na natin isulat, ha? Then, negative x squared minus 5, 5x squared, that is negative 7, ah, 6 na pala. Okay, 6 na. 1 man yan, di ba? Sorry, ha? 6x squared. 6x squared. Copy the common sign, then add. Sundan? Negative yan, negative yan, common sign. Parang ito. Negative x squared at saka negative 5x squared. Merong 1 dyan na coefficient. Therefore, yung, uh, yung answer niya is negative 6x squared. Negative 6x squared. Then, i-ano natin ito, i-bring down si positive 5x. Kasundan? Okay, ngayon, ito na yung bagong ano natin. Ito yung bagong uh, dividend natin. So, hanap naman tayo ng number or variable na kapag i-multiply natin sa 2, magiging negative 6x squared. That is negative 3x. 3x na lang. So, 3x, negative 3x, multiply natin dito kay 2x, magiging negative 6x squared. Nakawa? 3, negative 3x times 2x equals negative 6x squared. Negative 3x times 1, that is negative 3x. Ayan, then it naman natin yung sign niya. So, from negative magiging positive, from negative magiging positive. So, negative 6x plus 6, uh, negative 6x squared, sorry, plus 6x squared, that is 0. Then ito naman, positive na pareho. 5x plus 3x that is 8x i-bring down naman natin ito si positive 4 masundan? ok next, alap naman tayo ng number or variable or factor na kapag i-multiply natin sa 2x magiging 8x so yung factor natin is positive 4 ok, so 4 times 2x that is 8x then 4 times 1 is positive 4. Then, change natin to from positive magiging negative. From positive magiging negative. Okay, so 8x minus 8x, 0. Plus a positive 4 minus 4 is 0. Therefore, 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 is our final answer. Okay, let's proceed to... Example letter C. We will divide the quantity of 2x squared minus 7x minus 14 divide by uh, x minus 5. Okay? Kopyahin muna natin yan. Si 2x squared minus 7x minus 14. Divide natin kay x plus 5. Ay, x minus 5. So, hanap tayo ng number, variable, or any factor. Na kapag i-multiply natin kay x, magiging 2x squared. So, 2x. Kasi 2x times x is 2x squared. Diba? Then, 2x, multiply natin kay negative 5, magiging negative 10x. Then, i-subtract natin yan. And, we have to change the sign. From positive, magiging negative. Eh? Sorry. Magiging negative yan. So, from negative, magiging positive. So, 2x squared minus 2x, that is 0. Then, negative x plus 10x, that is positive 3x. Positive siya. Kahit walang sign, ibig sabihin, positive yan. Okay? I-bring down natin si negative 14. Then, hanap naman tayo ng variable or number or factor na kapag i-multiply natin sa i kay x, magiging 3x. Ito talaga si x. So, positive 3. Diba? So, 3 times x, that is positive 3x. Then, 3 times 5, or negative 5, that is negative 15. Then, over, or subtract natin yan. So, we have to change this one, or we have to change the sign. So, from positive, magiging negative. From negative, magiging positive. So, 3x minus 3x, 0. Dito, 
So, negative 14 plus 15, that is 1. Ibig sabihin, ito yung remainder natin. So, paano yan, sir, pag na merong remainder? So, we have to express this one. So, 2x plus 3 plus yung remainder natin na 1 over x minus 5. So, ito na yung final answer natin sa ating example letter C. Okay, we have the letter D, our last example. Divide the quantity of x squared plus 4x minus 12 divide by x minus 2. So, yung divide natin yan. Si x squared plus 4x minus 12. Okay, divide by x minus 2. So, hanap tayo ng number or variable na kapag i-multiply natin kay x magiging x squared. Therefore, yung uh, factor natin is x. So, x times x, x squared. x times negative 2, negative 2x. So, done. Okay. Then, itong positive, i-change natin itong negative. From negative, magiging positive. So, 0 na ito. x squared minus x squared, 0. Positive 4x plus 2x magiging 6x. I-bring down natin si negative 12. Then, hanap naman tayo ng uh, factor na kapag i-multiply natin sa x, magiging 6x. So, therefore, positive, positive 6x, or uh, positive 6, 6 times x is 6x. Sama ko? Naman ko si x ba? Stop it. <laughs> then, x times negative 2, that is negative 12. Then, i-subtract natin yan. Then, we have to change the sign. From positive, magiging negative. From negative, magiging positive. Positive 6x minus 6x, 0. Negative 12 plus 12, that is 0. Therefore, yung solution natin, x squared plus 4x minus 12 divided by x minus 2, that is equal to x plus 6. At maraming maraming salamat sa panunod. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka na. At i-hit mo yung notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko. See you to my next video. Bye-bye!